What's going on everybody? It is Wild Willie and today is a great day because we're back out on Call of the Wild and we have a brand new weapon selection that we recently just got from a new DLC. It's a pistol and two more rifles. And today we're going to check out the Grenlock Drilling Rifle Carbine Fiber. It is a 16 gauge shotgun along with a 9.3 by 74 polymer tip. It is a combination rifle and I'm absolutely ecstatic. They they added this in to the Hunter Classic, and now we finally get it in the Call of the Wild. They also added a 7.62 rifle, which we'll probably go ahead and cover in a later basis. But I haven't even got this gun out. I haven't even shot it. I know we have a new scope that goes with it just like that, and it is a shotgun rifle combination. And in order to change from your shotgun to your rifle, you have got to hold R. And you can see down in the corner, it went ahead and you changed it, and here it can click in the chamber system itself. We're going to go ahead and start, and we're out here on Late Lake. We're going to go and see what we can do with this. I'm actually just woke up from a nap because I've got to go back to work later on this afternoon. So it could be a quick video on this rifle. I just want to go ahead and go and test it out. Oh, I forgot to mention. Also, this rifle with the 9.3 is a weapon class level 3 rifle. So hopefully hopefully we can get rid of maybe like a 7mm. Hopefully, hopefully maybe it'll stand up. Oh, actually, a 7mm is a weapon class 4. No, oh, right here, 7mm, weapon class 3. So maybe this will get rid of the weapon class level 3 of the 7mm. But I want to go ahead and go out and try, and try and take down maybe anything we can find over here at the river. And maybe we'll go ahead and try out the 16 gauge if we run into some rabbits. So let's go ahead and try to get, uh, get our first look at this rifle really quick. I don't want to shoot it quite yet. We'll shoot it and we'll take it nice and slow when we find an animal. And go through the reload animation of it only reloading one shell. We'll see if it pops out all of them. See if it only pops out one. I did. I shot the 7.62 once and I noticed a little bug with it. So let's go ahead and see if there's still this bug with this rifle itself. We're already out. We're already getting on some tracks here. So let's go ahead and try to track down this moose. And see what we can. What kind of damage it does to this moose. Moose. It is a level 3 rifle. So kind of like an elk gun. Which is a 9.3. But I'm sure it'll have enough power to at least get a single long on a moose so let's get right into the hunt all right we're swarmed in moose we're gonna go ahead and take one out oh shoot wrong buttons Ooh. Oh, oh, oh that sounded so good oh man she's hurting real good oh there's a good bull right there go ahead and take a reload look real quick okay so he individually pulls out the second or the first rifle round that's pretty cool but there's that bull right there. Where did our cow go? Oh, she felt that. She had to stop and think what just happened. All right, let's go look. Look at all these moose. That's I see lung blood right there. She's still out there. No, oh, she must be down somewhere. She went down. She had to have. That round absolutely crushed her. Lytle hit. Alright, she went this way. Alright, so it looks like medium bleed rate on a moose, which is pretty good. Pretty good. She was pretty close. But we'll take it. We'll take it. 25 to 50. She's got to be down right over here. She has got to be down. All right, I'm trying not to spook. Oh, there they go. They just spooked. All right, sounded pretty cool. Reload was just like any ordinary break action rifle. Oh, we just spooked and spooked her. I was going to try to take another shot on that one. All right, so she should not have went far at all. Look, a rabbit. <laughs> what the heck? Or rabbits. Look at him. All right, I missed one, I think. Our moose is right there, too. We are a rabbit killing machine. Oh, right there. Nice little male rabbit. Trying to see what the heck this is. Uh, it's a level 4 easy, but we're just keep on collecting these rabbits, but you know what? That's fine. Fine. So we gotta collect them sooner or later. Nice little male. A little silver. 80% consecutive harvest. 
a couple bulls over there. Just remember, you can tap down on your scroll wheel, too. I just remember that to get rid of this. Funny foo-foo. Oh my goodness, that comes in so handy for hunts. Except for it unloads both shells. Alright, so it definitely destroys rabbits. We know that now. Oh, that was a gold rabbit. Not a bad rabbit. Not a bad rabbit. We got some elk over there. Some elk, a couple more moose, and there's a bunch more moose off to the other side too. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up this one and see what kind of... See if I got 100% on it or what. That's a good, that's a good moose right there. I'm actually going to take this kind of slow. He looks like a dandy. What do we get? 43% quick kill. And that was with a single lung, so it does, it looks like it does have the power to press through both lungs. Of these moose at a pretty close range. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this moose to just look at us for a split second. That's all I need. Just a split second for him to look. Okay, about 146 yards. Oh, shoot, what gun is that? Nope. Force of habit. Force of habit to grab out that gun. Alright. Okay, I keep hitting the wrong button to stand up. Ooh. Dropped them like sack potatoes. Brain shots is the way to go with this gun on moose. Let's go ahead and run over there and take a look. I still want to go after that one elk I seen over there. Just to, just to put it to the test and see if it'll double lung. And take down an elk without a problem. We know it will take down a moose. But she was angled a little hard. So if we would have put it a little bit more forward, we probably would have double lunged her. It penetrated lung and went all the way back into her intestine. And she didn't go super far at all. It was a vital hit with a medium bleed rate, which you can't complain about. But let's go ahead and take a look at this moose real quick, because he will be 100% everything. I think he was only a level 4, but he had, a, he had a pretty nice rack on him. So it's worth a shot to go ahead and see what he is real quick. Then we'll go ahead and run over there. We got more bunnies. Make sure you change over. What is that? Oh, I thought that was something right there, and I accidentally just changed my guns. I have got to change that button. Alright, here he is. Go ahead and pick him up. He's a gold. Almost 900. Perfect brain shot. Not bad. Not bad. Put him down right in his tracks. You cannot ask for anything better than that. So I'm going to go ahead and run on over down river more and see if we can find. We can go ahead and find an elk. Somewhere's over here. This place is just loaded with moose right now. But let's go ahead and see if we can't go ahead and go find that elk. We've seen one over here. Usually it might be a herd grazing along, feeding away. Keep pulling out the 7.62s. It's so tempting. It looks pretty good. An old school bolt action rifle like that. So let's go ahead and make our way over here and see if we can't find that elk. And hopefully we don't spook them by coming across this river. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get on some elk. All right, so we're trying out a new spot, and we just started running over here, and literally right on the opposite side of this hill, we have very bad wind, but we actually have some Roosevelt elk right, right down there. So I figure this might be a good time to test it out. We're going to look for one that's pretty broadside. It looks like her right there in the front right there. We're going to go ahead and try to take a shot. Okay. Got hit her. So I went ahead. We're taking this chance to see if we can double lung from that far. Okay, I don't see her. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Now, if, now if they would just stop. So that's 185 meters out right there. All right, let's see what that did. All right, I'm just trying to see if we can get a double lung at different range 
with this rifle itself. We took a shot right down here, and my zeroing was a little high, so I know my bullet went a touch high on that Roosevelt Elk. But I hope it didn't go too high. We don't have a long tracking. I'm hoping we at least got single lungs on these. We got lung blood right there on this one. And I think this one didn't go far at all. I think it's right on the opposite side of this hill. I did not see it come back and up from this hill right here. So we got vital hit, medium bleed rate, and she's down right there. She didn't go far at all. <laughs> not at all. And that was probably 90s, 90 meter range. Come on, confirm trophy. There we go. Where did we hit? All right, so we got double lung and a spine. Oh, vertebrae. Sorry, not spine. We hit vertebrae. So she didn't go far at all. How far did she go? I shot her at 102 meters. And she only went 60 meters. That's not bad at all. Now I shot one of her little buddies over here. Whoa. They were flying. And she was stood right here. Another lung hit. With another medium bleed rate. 50 to 75. So she won't be far at all. She'll be right over this hill. Oh. Alright, I'm not going to pass this up. Alright, there's another hit. She won't go far at all. She's going to topple over. 3, 2, 1. She's down. She is down for the count. All right, so here's another one. This one was 180 meters? 186 meters. And it was enough to punch through both lungs. It was not quite a 100% quick kill bonus, though. But hey, it punched through both lungs. I'm not going to complain about that. That's got potential right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. We definitely know this one was right next to us. She was hit hard. She did not go too far. Let's see what kind of... Yeah, we got a quick kill bonus right there, and that was a double lung, and we nicked a shoulder blade. And she went zero meters. Perfect. And that was 52 meters away. So maybe 190 meters for this gun is not going to give you 100%, but it definitely puts them down pretty good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was a little, little sneak peek, a little preview of what you're going to be getting if you go ahead and purchase this DLC, and it is the Drilling Rifle Carbine Fiber. It's a 9.3 by 74R by a 16 gauge shotgun, and it comes with another brand new scope. That is the 3 by 9 by 44 Falcon scope. It looks pretty good, sounds pretty cool. The concept of changing around to your 16 gauge went ahead and we showed you actually us doing that with some rabbits and actually getting some rabbits along too. We dropped a moose, we single lung hit a moose, and she didn't go far at all. Probably 100 meters. And now you just seen, we went ahead and we punched an elk at 90 meters, went 30 meters. We punched one at 186, went 60 meters, and we just shot one at 50 and went 0 meters. And died literally, probably about 20, 25 meters away from where we shot her. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me guys what you guys want to see next. I plan on hopefully... Depending on the time being, hopefully doing one on the 7.62 old school Mosin type looking rifle. But this drilling rifle is definitely going to bring a whole new concept to the game. A level 2 rifle that just punches elk down like it's nothing. Actually, excuse me, a level 3 rifle that punches elk down, hits a moose hard. You can't get any better than that and you also have a 16 gauge. So you can go ahead and make those stocks on rabbits or go rabbit hunting with your friends as you're out hunting some elk or you shoot the ducks that are flying above you so hopefully you guys enjoyed like i said please leave a like and comment subscribe if you are new it helps out the channel a lot so until next time you guys hunt safe shoot straight and enjoy the weapons